it's Mina and welcome back to my channel or if this is the very first video you're seeing of me then welcome to my channel I'm very happy to have you please subscribe hit the subscribe button down below for more future videos I know I always forget to tell people to subscribe but today I'm remembering so anyway today in this video I'm going to do my top 10 knitting tips so a lot of you guys know I love to knit I do fast forward knitting videos here on my channel I used to do knitting tutorials but sadly I don't do them anymore due to the fact that they are way too time consuming but here are some personal tips of knitting that I came up with and I'm going to get started. So number one on my list would be choose an easy project. Project. So I suggest some pretty easy projects like scarves, hats, like scarves. So let me show you an example of a scarf I made. If I can find one. So here's an example of a scarf I knitted. This is for one of my stuffed animals. I knitted one of my stuffed animals a scarf. This is a basic um, stuffed animal scarf. Scarf. You can knit it basically as long as you want, want, or you can knit it as short as you want. So. I just chose, um, I actually knitted a scarf for my stuffed animal. Let me show you my first stuffed animal scarf I've ever knitted. So this is my first scarf I ever knitted. I actually got this in a kit. It came with this teddy bear to sew, and um, it came with this yarn. And this is like my first scarf I ever knitted. What's funny is this is a pearl. I actually pearled my first time knitting. <laughs> knitting. So I know that's weird. Usually when you knit, you start with the basic garter stitch. So I started with a stuffed animal scarf, or if that was my first project I ever did. Number two on my list would have to be start with worsted weight yarn. So this is what worsted weight yarn looks like. So I don't know if you can see. This is a worsted weight yarn. Yarn. It just it makes it easier to see your stitches and then you know what you're doing and stuff. Don't ever start with like something very thin. Like even though this is I think is worsted weight, this is a little bit thinner yarn. If you can see that, it's like really hard to see your stitches with like thin yarn. Or don't start with probably this type of yarn. This is like super fluffy yarn. I probably wouldn't use this because like it's really hard to see your stitches as well. Number three on my list would have to be if you're doing, doing a project, pay close attention to what type of yarn that you need. This is one I always have trouble with. Whenever I knit a certain project, I never pay attention to the type of yarn that's supposed to be used in the project, which is kind of funny because even though I've been knitting for years, I always forget this step. And, um, type of yarn and needles you use. I actually have used, like, I, whenever I knit, like, a hat, I use circular needles. And I, not circular needles, excuse me, size. Whenever I knit something, I use size 8 needles. Needles and stuff, like, I'll use size 8 if I'm knitting, like, with baby yarn. I'll use size 8 if I'm knitting with worsted, worsted weight yarn. I'm getting a little bit better. This is one project I always forget. Like, I use size 8s no matter what. I always forget to use the type of needles that the project calls for. Or, and I always forget the type of yarn I use worsted weight no matter what, but I am getting a little bit better to be honest. Number four, um, oh, but I want to show you guys a quick example. So, here's an example. So it's always important to pay the type close attention to the type of yarn and um, needles that you need because like it like helps obtain the gauge and stuff. So here's an example. I knitted um, this hat. This is my Hermione Granger beanie. Um, this is like one of my favorite beanies. I love this beanie so much. It's super cute. So I made this beanie. This one's probably one of my favorite ones, and I like the cable pattern. It's so cute. It was super fun to make. Make and this one's made with baby weight yarn, but when I first started, I accidentally used worsted weight, and I screwed up the hat because like I was supposed to work it work the pattern like four times, when I was supposed and I accidentally repeated it four times. Whoops, and I used worsted weight by accident. 
often and then the hat ended up being way taller than it was supposed to. So this is made with baby weight yarn and I ax and um I got better at using baby weight weight because the baby weight yarn made it um super um made it the right size and everything. It was super easy. So that's a good tip. If you ever knit Knitting a project, pay very good attention to what type of yarn that you need. Need and then the um, and then the type of needle size it requires. Num number four on my list would have to be count every row your stitches after every row. So this is like one um, step I like to do. You know, even if you increase a project, calls for a certain amount of stitches after the increase. Count your stitches to make sure you still sure you have the right amount of stitches that it calls for, and also so after every row, it's just very important to count your stitches to make sure you didn't drop a stitch. Number five on my list would have to be choose a bright color yarn. So, when you're knit, if you're a beginner knitter, my suggestion is don't pick anything dark because it's easier, because it's harder to see your stitches. With, like don't choose like black yarn or um, dark blue or dark red or dark green or anything too dark because then it's hard to see your stitches. I suggest pick something bright. So this is a really bright yarn. I actually just used it to make a project. So it's just really easier to see your stitches with you use a brighter color. Number um, six on my list would have to be keep your stitches nice and loose. Now this one's a pretty hard one, especially if you wait one if you're especially if you're knitting in the round or switching needle sizes, because like it's always good to keep your stitches nice and loose. And I hear this is pretty common for beginners. And I actually have knitted really tight before. For and um, I think maybe. Be just, uh, I think um, it's always important to tug a little bit, but not pull too hard. So let's say you're knitting and you accidentally and you can't get your needle through the stitch. It's because you pulled it so tight. So you got to be careful when you're when you're knitting your stitches to make sure you don't knit them too tight. Just knit them snug on the needle, but not so tight that you can't like put them put your other needle through. Number seven on my list would have to be measure your gaze. Now this is one I always forget to do. So measuring your gaze is when you multiply the number of stitches you knit per inch. Okay, so let's say you're knitting a hat for a baby and you want to figure out how many, many um, stitches to use for your knitting needle. My suggestion is measure the baby's head in inches. And once you've measured the baby's head in inches, you count how many stitches you knit per inch and then you multiply the number and then you try to round down to a number that's easily divisible by eight. I hope that made sense. I hope that didn't like, like, um, I hope that, um, didn't like, um, torture you guys or anything because that's just like a little math thing. <laughs> number, um, it's important to measure your gaze because then you know what size size um, to use and stuff like that. It's always important to check your gauge. I always forget that step because like I just go ahead of myself and just knit it and I always forget to step. To get that step. Number eight on my list would have to be if you're knitting in the round make sure that your stitches are nice and straight. So sometimes when you're about to knit in a round your stitches will end up getting twisted. It's always important to keep your stitches nice and straight or else you can end up with like a mobile strip. Uh, been there, done that, never want to go back, and had to start my project completely over. A mobile strip is when you have a twist in it. Then it so yeah, it's always important to make sure your stitches are nice and straight. Even if you're knitting on knitting on double pointed needles in the round, always make sure your stitches are nice and straight no matter what. Number nine on my list would have to be if you're working with a certain type of yarn, pay close attention to what needle size that it calls for. So um. Let me give it you guys an example. So, this stuff is baby weight yarn. So, um, right here, I don't know if you can see that really well. It has like a recommendation of what size needle and yarn to you or hook to use if you're crocheting or knitting. So, right here, it recommends size U.S. size six, and then for Crocheting, it recommends a USG hook. The important thing is when you're knitting or crocheting, 
it's really important to pay attention to the label and then what type of yarn and needles it calls for. For So if you ever, so actually, I actually touched taught my friend how to knit and she accidentally um, used, I think she used the wrong kind of yarn. She used thinner yarn when she should have bought worsted weight by accident and um, she used larger needles with it and her stitches ended up so tight. <laughs> tight and I figured out why it was so tight. <laughs> so, um, I, because she accidentally used the wrong type of needles with the wrong yarn. Number, um, 10 on my list would have to be work close to the tip of your needle. So, um, it's always important to work close to the tip of your needle because then you don't have to pull your yarn so much, much to make it stretch because then you'll end up with like big loops hanging out in your yarn. It's always important to keep your your stitches close to the tip of the needle because then you don't have to stretch your yarn and pull it so much because yarn easily does stretch. Okay, so that was my top 10 knitting tips. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see another video soon. I'm sorry this was so long, but thanks for watching. I'll see another video soon. Bye!